Hey, what's up you guys? This is Zach with PC Bros. And today I'm gonna to show you how to benchmark games in 2023. This is how we benchmark games for the PC Bros YouTube channel. And this is also how the Toasty Bros do it on their videos when they're reviewing a PC. It's really easy. You're only gonna to need to download two things. And luckily they're both on the same website, MSI Afterburner. Now this is one of the most popular to use. It's very user friendly and very easy. So just that first download. When you get to this part, you wanna make sure you're downloading MSI Afterburner and Riva Tuner. Riva Tuner is gonna be what shows all the statistics, all of the um, stuff like the CPU, the GPU. And I'll show you how to set up each one here in a minute once it's downloaded. So click next and install. It's gonna go through the process of installing both of those. Now, when I get to this part, I usually just uncheck show readme. That's just going to avoid that pop up on screen. That's going to have all the stuff that you don't really need to read. So uncheck show readme, and then you want to run MSI Afterburner and then uh, click finish. And this will open the MSI Afterburner application. Now for this video, I'm only going to show you how to monitor because MSI Afterburner is really meant to do a lot more than just benchmark. But for this video, I'm just going to show you how to benchmark. Once you download MSI Afterburner, we're gonna go to the settings here on the left side and go to monitoring. This is a list of everything that you can monitor and all the options that you can monitor when playing games. And I'm gonna show you here a list of stuff that we like to use when we benchmark our games. First off, we like to do GPU temperature right here on the top. We're gonna go through and do show on-screen display. If you see in OSD, you, it means that it will show and that'll be good. Now you also wanna overwrite group name and name it whatever GPU you have. And then you go to GPU usage, which will be the next one we like to do and do show on screen display and pretty much rinse and repeat for all of them that you want to use. Now, if you notice here, um, there is no check. If it's unchecked, you will not be able to click the stuff here, it'll be grayed out. So just make sure it's checked before you do show on screen display. So uncheck any of the ones that you don't really care about or just leave it checked. Either way, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna go through here real quick and make sure I have everything checked that I want to show. Show on screen display. All right, once you got all the ones checked that you wanna see when you benchmark games, go ahead and launch the game that you want. And you have to keep MSI off after burner running in the background to work. And as you can see here on that left side, we have all the ones that I chose. So as you can see here, we got frames per second on the bottom. You can rename any of these later to down the road. This is a little bit bigger than I would like it. So what you can do is let me close this window real quick. We're going to go to that second thing that we installed, Riva Tuner. So it's going to be running on your programs here on the bottom right. Riva Tuner is going to be this one and it opens up a new tab here and this is going to be able to control that display of the statistics on that top left. So this is the size. You can make it as big or as small as you want. I like it somewhere kind of in the middle when I'm benchmarking. Uh, probably about right here. You don't want it to be too small. And then when you launch the game again, it will have adjusted. And as you can see, it's a little bit smaller now. We got frames per second on the bottom and you can rename any of these at any point you want and add more or less as you want. Hopefully this video was helpful. I know it was a shorter tutorial. Let me know if you do have any questions or do need any more help. We do answer our comments as much as we can. And please like and subscribe to see more from PC Bros, more tips and how to's.